Donna, and I'm here with my daughters. Lily. And Kyla. <laughs> and today we have January's Universal Yums Box. So, it took a little while this month mm -hmm. for us to get our Universal Yums Box. However, I will give them credit because they did contact me by email to let me know there was a delay. And the reason is because of kind of the issues going on with the United States Postal Service. So, it really was out of their control. A lot of their suppliers were delayed, mm -hmm. especially right after Christmas time and the big rush. We all know what happened mm -hmm. <laughs> with all the delayed packages. So. Now we are bringing it to you. Sorry it was so late this month, um, but hopefully you can still enjoy along with us with our favorite snack box, Universal Yums. Now, Universal Yums we've been doing for a while now, um, and we do really enjoy it. Um, a little bit of a rundown of what Universal Yums is, is every month there's a different country that they send you a box of yums or snacks. Um, there's three different sizes that you can get. There's a yum box, there's a yum yum box, which is what we get, and then there's a super yum box, which has even more snacks on it. Um, you can subscribe to it, you can cancel, you kind of have a lot of um, flexibility in how you do the subscription. You don't have to keep it, you can keep it, you can do whatever you want to do. Um, but if it's your first time and you've never tried Universal Yums and you want to, I will leave a link below in the description for $5 off your first box. So please make sure you save that $5 and click that link. All right, we're gonna go ahead and jump in and see what country they sent us this month. And there's no sticker. I think I know. You think because so? Because I looked on their Instagram. Oh. I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Lily's been stalking the Universal <laughs> Yums website or the Instagram. All right, girls, let's see. <laughs> Sorry. Whoa. All right. Whoa. It is mm -hmm. the Netherlands. <gasps> All right, what do you have there, Kyla? The sticker. The sticker. Show them the sticker. So it looks like they've got some, what do they call those things, falafels or something? The ones that look like waffles, but they're snack treats. The it boot. says, <laughs> I went, and it has flower picking scratched off, and it says flavor picking in the Netherlands. So that's really cute. I am going to keep this stick on my side. That. So they also sent a map of the country with all the different kind of cool snacks around the country and facts. And that's one of the reasons we do like Universal mm -hmm. Yums is because of all the information they send you as well. And then on the back side, you can rank which ones you like the best, the worst, and the weirdest. Mm -hmm. And then they also show you some of the snacks that maybe did not make it into the box. Is that what this one is? No, this one says find more fave snacks. So these Ooh. are the ones you can buy on the Yum Shop. Um, which is a cool option as well, which we have done cool. as well before we yes. bought extra snacks. Um, and then it also asks you to vote for the upcoming boxes, mm -hmm. which I see Grease on there, which was our very first and our favorite yes, box. Yes, it so was. I actually wouldn't mind Grease again. Because yeah, really I good. don't remember it as much, but I remember it so good. Yeah. And then what else is in there, Lily? So you also have a booklet that on the back, it talks about the Yum Shop, which you can go on their website, and they have tons of different previously already in boxes candies that you can rebuy again and repurchase. And then it comes with cool facts, foot puzzles, like a whole bunch of different activities yeah. and trivia. But then on top of that, it comes with the description of each snack in it and what they're called, because some of them you can't read because they're in different languages mm -hmm. sometimes. Yeah. But it also comes with the nutrition facts as well. Yeah, so really cool. Oh, Stroop waffles. That's what they're called. I just <gasps> saw those. Those are those good. Are. Lily loves those. I love Stroop waffles. Here is what our box looks like. It looks super, super yummy. Well, I guess that's what we, we're going to start with is what yeah. it says. Is, yeah, we're going to go and order here, Kyla, of the booklet. All right, let's see. So Stroop waffle is the first mm -hmm. one. Let's see if I can find that in here. So what is the Stroop waffle, Lily? It is Taste the Original Dutch Sensation. Mm. <gasps> I can try this before. Oh, <gasps> Max and Alex. The caramel stroop waffles. Oh, that sounds mm. delicious. Delicious I, cookies from Holland. Waffles with caramel filling. Mm, and that good. and they look like um they look like um honey coming down. Yeah, it's mm. caramel. Yeah, it looks like it looks like honey. Mm, yeah, I'm excited about these. Mm. So there's two in here. Whoa. These will not last long in our house. No, they will not. <laughs> so we can get these in the United States too, but these are the ones from the Netherlands, which is really cool. Oh, so Let's see what the inside <gasps> looks like. It's soft. Yeah, gooey. Oh, I'm getting stuff everywhere. Oh. You can hear all the crumbles, but look at that gooeyness. Oh, my word. That, that was an good. amazing shot. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> all right. Kyla, let me get you a piece. That's really Oh, good. my gosh. Smell it. Mm. <gasps> it smells like honey graham crackers. 
No, it smells like that one, like, milk candy that we had once in one of these boxes. Oh, maybe. Let's try it. It tastes like a waffle cone. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Waffle cone. It has that gooey caramel mm -hmm. in it. Yeah. You like that, Kyla? Mm -hmm. I'll take another bite. I'm finishing this. That was really good. Okay, good start, Netherlands. We really, really like that. Okay, Lily, what's next? All right, so next up, it says that they had three different types of chips that were they were going to put in there, oh. but they let fate decide, and they you only got one. Which one did we get? We got the <laughs> yeah. salt and pepper potato chips. Classic seasoning on a one-of-a-kind chip. Ooh. The other two choices that they could have said. The other two choices were the sour cream and onion or the Ooh. cheese and onion. Oh, I would have liked both of those probably better. These are bio-organic. All right, let's see what they look like. They what do, do they have smell like? That's my question. Some salt and pepper oh, on them, too. Oh, oh. Do they smell like salt and pepper? No, they just smell like kettle cooked They're chips. They're probably kettle cooked chips. I wouldn't be surprised by that. All right, let's try them. Ow. Hmm. I don't really taste the pepper, though. They're just... Oh, no, it's there. You can taste it. it tastes like regular potato chips me. Mm -hmm. They're good. I like the texture. Mm -hmm. They're not as um hard as kettle cook. No. It has a nice texture to them. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, those are yeah. good. All right. Oh. I'm sure Kyla will munch on those for the rest oh, of the yeah. video. <laughs> All so right, next up we have a Dutch candy cards. Juicy strawberry, black currant, and cherry. Their candy is shaped like cars. What? They're candy shaped like ours. Literally. Literally. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Cadillacs. So they're strawberry, black currant, and cherry. I want strawberry. Or black no, currant. No, they're all the same. Oh. Maybe. Oh, no, there are three different kinds. Hold on. Let's, I gotta dump them out and see. <laughs> they look like the same color, though. I don't see a difference in color. That smells like strawberry. Yeah. They all smell like strawberry to me. Maybe so. it's just like a com combination of it. In yeah, it. maybe. Let's give it a try. Oh, hey. Really. Can you show them what it looks like? Gummy. Hmm. That was the best one. <laughs> it looks like Cadillac. <laughs> That's good. It's a very hard gummy. Very hard. Very hard. Chill. The flavor is good. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But the texture is really hard on it, so I don't know if I would go to that. It's definitely a mix of cherry, black currant, and strawberry. And it's yeah. not just strawberry. You can taste all the different flavors. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was pretty good. All right. What's next, Lily? Next up, we have the sour watermelon candies. A burst of watermelon in every chew. Yum mm -hmm. bag. So they put the small treats in yep. the yum bag. I have a feeling. And sometimes they're white. They're in here. It looks like a mad scientist on the packaging. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of like Airhead. Mm-hmm. Airhead? Yep. Yep. Oh, they're cute. Oh my gosh, they're, they're so tiny. green and pink striped. They're really, oh, very watermelon. -y. And sour, kind of. Yeah, you can uh -huh. smell that. Mm. All right. I guess it's like a gummy. I don't know. Okay. Put the thing in. Uh huh. Hmm. I'm expecting like a goose on the inside. Oh. Is there stuff in there? Very sour when you chew into it. Okay. Good. That was very good, but very sour to me. Lily didn't think they were sour, so let's move on because I need to get that out of my mouth. So next up, we have the aged Gouda cheese crispies, mm. crunchy, cheesy, and authentically Dutch. I do like Gouda cheese. Aged? I don't think I've ever had aged Gouda cheese. I don't want to try. Looks like cheese crackers. I don't want to try. I'm honestly they don't look a little like bit cheese crackers, but they do not. the back side has like a grainy. Yeah. They Mama look like a whole wheat. Hey, Mom, I don't Something. want to try these. They're cheesy. I think oh, no, like they them. do like smell. Oh. They're just like Cheez-Its. No. All right, I'm trying them. Yeah. Mm, okay. They're very light. Oh, 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 oh. oh, they taste like something. Better cheddar. They taste like better cheddars. We love better cheddars. Mm. But they're different. They're good. They feel, like, healthier. Like, they don't Lighter. feel... Yeah. Airy. They don't feel like you're... Having a lot of grease in them. They taste like really natural. Mm -hmm. They're really good. Okay. I like that cheese Gouda snack. All right, let's keep going. What else we got? Next up, we have soft licorice and fruit gummies. Mm. Fruit and licorice made quite a juicy combo. So they also put the nutritional facts on the back if they need to, if you can't tell what they are in English. So It says that the average Dutch person buys more licorice than toothpaste. 
Really? That's weird. That's really weird. Now these do have a couple of different flavors or looks at oh. least, but it's like a black and a red one. And I think there's one with an orange What on do they it. say on them? Red band? Is that what it says? Try this one with the pink end on it. All right, let's see here. Yeah, I don't know, but I like the smell. I like <laughs> licorice though. So I feel like I can. It smells like if you like plug something in for too long. Did I put the whole thing in? Mm. The orange candy is good. I'm scared to try the licorice, but the orange candy is good. I like licorice. I can't do that. I'm only eating the orange gummy. <laughs> I just, I'm not even gonna like try the black the side. Is disgusting. Really? Yes. I put the whole thing in my mouth. I edited it out, but I had to spit it out because I cannot. <laughs> that was terrible. But the fruit side is very good. Did you try it? You stole my napkin. <laughs> yeah, I did. Let's move on fast. <laughs> okay, next up we have the sour violet candies. Never has a flower been so mouth-watering. Uh, We're eating a flower. I always worry about flower things you can eat. because they're, like they're violet flavored candies. They smell good. They do smell good. It looks like the ends of a lollipop. Mm -hmm. Um, it looks, okay. it looks... One, two, three. It tastes like I'm eating grandma's soap. <laughs> <laughs> <Don't they? laughs> the soap is not to be eaten, kids. <laughs> it smells nice, but it tastes like... Violet soap. <laughs> um, I can say I've tasted the flavor of grandma's soap. <laughs> yeah. Okay, again, we're gonna move on from that. That was terrible. <laughs> and I really wanted to try it. I still taste it. I had high hopes. Well, the next one's chocolate. Let's get to okay. that one. Next up, we have the chocolate covered crudy nutton. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that is. Milk, dude. white, and dark chocolate spice cookies. Oh Give us all these varieties. It's called a crudin nut. <laughs> Let's see if there's a dark chocolate in here. I can't tell. I haven't had a, a name in a while that I've completely butchered. Okay, so there are three different ones. There's a white, Cof uh, oh. milk chocolate, and then there's a dark chocolate. So I'm gonna go for the oh, dark chocolate. It smells like gingerbread. Oh, it does. That's good for me. Okay, it's probably dark chocolate. It's probably chocolate covered gingerbread. Mm hmm Yep. That's really good. Mm. You don't like that? Honestly, the dark chocolate like overpowers it mm -hmm. by a lot. Yeah, that's really good. I'm gonna try the milk chocolate one. Mm. Am I gonna say that I like something that has gingerbread in it? Oh, uh, good. That's really good. Crude and nothing. Just call it crude and nothing. It's like not gingerbread. It's crude and nothing. Crude and nothing. But the white chocolate. Should we try that one? Mm. They're all really good. That is my favorite one so far. That is good. Yeah. That's Whoa. Very good. Someone write this down in the book. I said gingerbread was good. Yeah, seriously. All right. All right. Next up, we have the Dutch Speculus. Coziest spice cookies ever. Gosh. Mm. Oh, whoa. <laughs> that's a big old. I think that's gingerbread, too, so you should be face feasting for a while. Box of cookies there. Dutch Speculus. It's for tea. Cookies. It's for the tea party. I think I've heard that <laughs> word before. Speculus. It's new, okay. It says it's a spice cookie, so I'm assuming it means it's ginger. Oh, oh my gosh. I'll show you what it looks like. Wrapped in cardboard. It looks like cardboard. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh, that's cute. cute. Oh, I like that little mm -mm. Yeah. embossed like gingerbread cookies. Mm -hmm. Please be good like the last one. Please be good like the last one. Yeah, seriously. Oh, okay, yeah, it's, it's gingerbread. Yeah, you like gingerbread. Oh, there's different little designs on them. Those are cute. Okay, let's try them. Doesn't taste like gingerbread. That's delicious. Mm, that doesn't yeah. taste like gingerbread. No, that was good. It that tastes like, like the cookies that we like, Mom. Ginger snaps. Mom? Huh? It tastes like ginger snaps, but not as snappy. <laughs> it doesn't taste like gingerbread. You know, they don't have that kick part, but it's very good. Yeah. Hazelnut cream milk chocolate bar. Dutch cocoa plus rich hazelnut cream filling. That's cute. It's got like little um, elementary school pictures of their letters. Oh, 
interesting. <laughs> <That's cute. laughs> so we can learn a little bit of another one, whatever they speak over there. What Dutch. do they speak? Dutch? I think so. Uh, I don't know. If you know, let us know in the comments. We know what they speak. <laughs> Your letters are in the car. That looks like a gold car. It, it does look like a gold bar. I got a golden ticket. <laughs> it looks like, um, what's the candy I like? The stuff that has, like, the individual chocolate pieces. Toblerone? Yep. Oh, there's stuff in it. That's my snap, too. There's oh, stuff in yeah. it. It's like a cream. Probably the hazelnut cream on the inside. Uh. Mm, smell the chocolate. I don't smell any hazelnut. Yeah, it's mm. very creamy. Mm. I only taste the chocolate. I don't taste the chocolate. I don't taste hazelnut. Mm -mm. It's still very good. Yeah. Very creamy. Smells the chocolate. Mm. Yeah. Oh, good. Please clean my palate. Okay. All right. Next up, we have Dutch licorice bites. Shaped what like licorice? canal houses. Oh, I don't Tastes know. Tastes like magic. Magic. Real magic right here. <laughs> a big bag of it too. They do said nice size bags, which is great sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. And, and then, then it goes to waste. The majority yeah. of the time. Yeah, I can smell that licorice. It looks like a canal house. You gonna try this? Yeah, you can show. Yeah, it's cute. It looks like a little canal house. <laughs> like I'm more of like the black jelly beans kind oh, of person. I no, love I can't do this, Mom. My no. But this smells very earthy licorice. <laughs> I'm gonna try it because of the sake of you guys. But um, so I think we're gonna have a repeat from the other two. <laughs> oh no, this is pretty good. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> okay. All right, so it does have like a harder, not a harder shell, but it's like hardened on the outside and then it has the jelly stuff on the inside. It's okay. It doesn't have the zing like a jelly bean does. Um, yeah. I'm staying far away from that. <laughs> We're going to pass on that one. All right. Next yeah. up, we have cheddar and raspberry cheese crispy. Oh, kind of like the other ones, but with some raspberry. Raspberry and cheese. Just like our, our better cheddar <laughs> snack, sweet, wherever that is. Sweet, savory, and thirdly, addictive. Mm, okay. All right, I hope it's addictive because I like raspberry and I like cheese, but never mm, together. had them Yeah, together. it's like sweet and savory. Mm -hmm. I was excited because I saw raspberry, but that's not what I thought it was going to be. Is this our last one? Is it? Okay, this is our last one. This is our last one. <laughs> oh, yeah, they smell really good. You can see the little raspberry pieces on them. Oh, they do smell pretty good. Very cheesy. It so looks just like the other one. Yeah, yeah. just bigger. I'm yeah. curious to see what the raspberry tastes like with it. So let's see. Let's just taste the cheese. Slight hint. Very slight. <laughs> yeah, I taste it in there. But they're good. Oh, no, yeah, I do. Like the, when yeah. you get one of the raspberry mm -hmm. pieces, you yeah. taste it. It's kind of like a chewy raspberry. But it tastes way more cheese. But they're good. They're just different. So, yeah, I have mixed feelings about this box. Minus the licorice. Yeah. It was a very good box. Yeah. What do you think, Kyla? Considering I like some gingerbread um, in it. Yeah. I, yeah, didn't, I, I didn't like um, the, um, the side of the licorice part of this. Yeah, so none of us like the licorice. Yeah. That was definitely the worst. Any of the licorice yeah. was the worst. I tried yeah. a little bit of the licorice side, and I didn't like it. I spit it out. Yeah. What was your favorite, Kyla? My favorite was... The chip? Wow, okay. My favorite... Oh, this might be hard. Um... I think I liked the chocolate-covered croutonautons. <laughs> Little things with gingerbread on the My inside. My new word, crude and nothing. My second favorite is going to be the chocolate. Chocolate, of course. The chocolate was good. It's just very yeah. rich milk chocolate. And I also really liked these cookies, so I'm glad that there's a bunch of them left because I'll be snacking on those later. My favorites were the Stroop waffle. Of course, yeah. And both of the gingerbread snacks. Wow. That They were good. Um, The weirdest by far. Yeah. Was grandma soap? Yeah, oh. the violet candy. <laughs> now I can go. Not our grandma. I don't think our grandma. No, has no, no, violet no, no, soap, no, no, But just no, no, what you no. would think of as a but grandma. But like, soap. I can be like, yeah, I've tasted soap <laughs> in a candy. Like exactly. It was right. so weird. Yeah. All 
All right, we would love to hear from you guys. What would be your favorite, your weirdest, and your worst, do you think? Did you guys get this month's box? I would love to hear about it in the comments below. Also, don't forget the $5 coupon. Click the link below in the description so you can get that $5 off your first box. All right, that's all we've got for you guys today. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click that bell as well so you see all the notifications when the new videos come out. All right, until next time, guys. Happy snacking. Bye. Bye.